in. Uh, it's, it's just amazing this last couple of weeks of uh, hot, sunny weather. Admittedly, a bit breezy, certainly. Particularly today, it's quite windy in places. Um, I don't know how well you can hear me. I might need to get out the external mic. But today is just incredible. Yeah, so as I was saying before, uh, some people came along and I got embarrassed about speaking in front of them. Um, it's good weather, it's beautiful, warm, sunny weather, which is amazing. Just is no good for photography. Uh, and I just can't get up any any earlier. It's, I, was, I woke up first thing this morning far, far too early um, as the sun came streaming in my window at about four o'clock. It's just very, very bright, very, very early and then late. So the sunset or soft light will have to wait for another couple of months. And uh, with the, maybe in the meantime, hopefully, whilst this weather keeps going, we might get the odd thunderstorm here and there. We'll get some fast moving clouds. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, I've got a little composition picked out here, I think, um, which I like the look of. I'm going to have to wait a little bit for the waves and the tide to come in. Um, but I'm going to get set up and uh, I think this will work. I've got a new uh, tripod head. I've got a geared head now, a three-way geared head, which is fantastic. I used it for the first time yesterday afternoon and it's so easy to set up and, and get your composition level. And oh, What a wonderful invention. Gone are the days of the ball head for me. That's how I'm done. It's a little heavier. It's a little heavier. You can probably see it there on my back. Um, but not much heavier. Maybe, I don't know, a third of a kilo heavier. So, yeah. It'll do. Right, I'm going to get out the external mic as well so that you can hear me because I fear that this won't be heard so well. So with any luck it gets better in a second and apologies until now, up until now for the poor audio if that is the case. Right, I'm going to get the, the camera out of the backpack and get set up. See you in a second. Okay, I've got my composition. Some good waves starting to come in now. I'm experimenting with either the wave coming in or the wave going out. See which looks better. Um, so I'm at F11, one and a half seconds, ISO 100. I've got a six stop ND polarizer and 1.2 medium grad. And it's uh, looking pretty nice. There's a fair amount of high shadows. Nothing much I can do about that time of day and all. But uh, it's a nice little composition. I think it will work. Um, as I said, the light is harsh, but what are you going to do? Okay, so I've cracked out the external mic and hopefully you can hear me okay. I'll sync it later on. I've got my little, whatever it is, dead uh, rat, cat, mouse, I don't know, something small and furry. So that should keep the wind noise to a minimum. My Osmo is really struggling in this wind though to keep it level. Um, the iPhone is basically acting as a sail and every now and then it just burls round like the motor's just given up which is uh, kind of funny. Um, I guess it's just a tiny little motor, so it's amazing it does as well as it does. Oh God, walking these pebbles is hard, especially with shin splints. So, Farah is dead keen to go swimming as usual, so I'm gonna take her down to the sandy beach end of Cullen Bay and uh, let her go for a little burl on the water. That's a lot of burls today. Anyway, right, so uh, see you on the beach.
So I'm down at the beach now, and Farah has actually cleverly found me a little composition that I might have walked past. I'll have a look at it through the camera, and hopefully it looks just as good, but um, yeah, clever dog. She knows what I want, um, what I'm after. So I think this will work. Nice sort of um, calm tidal pool that's starting to fill up with a bit more water now that the tide's coming in. But it's a nice image, it's sort of a, sort of a sweeping line through it. So we'll, we'll have a look at it through the, through the camera and see if it's gonna work. Um, and fingers crossed, I can uh, give the dog a treat later on to say thank you. Okay, I'll get the camera set up. Okay, well, so um, I'm not really feeling this composition now. It's not 100%. She'll still get a treat, don't worry. Um, she's awesome. Um, but I've got a shot. I'll see what I think of it later on. I'll probably show you anyway in the uh, interest of being fully transparent. So when it doesn't go as well as you want it to, still show that. Anyway. Um, I'll work at it and see if I can get something out of it, but I just don't think it's going to happen. So we're going to give up on this shot, I think. Um, no, no, we'll work on it, then we'll give up on it. And uh, move on down the beach a little bit further and try and find somewhere to get a drink. Probably we need to walk to Cullen because I'm getting pretty thirsty now. So uh, this is probably just going to be a shorter vlog today. I'm traveling north next week to um, uh, north of Wick. I'm going up to John O'Groats to visit the, Duns uh, the uh, Duncansby Stacks and Dunnett Head and a couple of castle ruined castles. Uh, so I've got three nights away. I'm going to do a lengthy vlog encompassing the three days. Um, hopefully get some cracking shots of the stacks and the castles and lighthouses and the cliffs. Um, yeah, can't wait. Never been up there before so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Uh, I wanted to explain something. Uh, I mentioned before I've got shin splints. It's not from walking around carrying a heavy backpack. It's in fact because I've been running for the last, uh, what about two, July. So it's almost three months now. Uh, yeah, three months. And uh, in that time, I've managed to do uh, a 10 kilometer race. It's a not race, a 10 kilometer run, uh, which I'm super, mega proud of myself for because I've never run before and I was pretty heavy so um, I've got shin splints from running never mind uh, I wanted to get fit so a couple of things for inspiration these vlogs I looked at myself on my earlier vlogs and I thought Jesus I gotta do something about that um, that was interesting uh, I wasn't expecting to feel that way when I saw it but I did so um, and then a couple of other pieces of strange inspiration. Um, vlogger Casey Neistat influenced me. He's always running in his vlogs and, and I thought if he can vlog and photograph and do all that sort of stuff and get fit as well, then so can I. And uh, a couple of other people in my life as well. But um, yeah, so it's going really well. I've lost um, almost two stone in three months. So feeling pretty good about that um, feeling generally pretty good other than the shin splints in the leg anyway that's all I just wanted to give you an explanation for why I've got shin splints why I bothered telling you that and uh, yeah if you're worried about running yourself or you're wanting to try and get fit and you're scared of doing it I'm a, I was a heavy guy I still am a heavy guy and I'm not other than walking the dog and going out on landscape photography trips I'm not super active um, so I was uh, keen to do it and I just did it. It's all in here, as it turns out. Yeah, sometimes it sucks when you're running. and It's painful and you're knackered and you just want to go and sit on the couch or fall in the heat, but actually it feels really good. And I think I'm slightly addicted to it now, which I was told might happen. Anyway, explanation for the shin splints over. That's that. Um, hopefully, with a little bit of rest here and there, they'll eventually go away and as I get less heavy they should get better as well so there we go that's the deal right um, I ended up by that way that last um, composition we'll see how it looks on its own as a portrait um, orientation composition sorry I'm really thirsty um, but I ended up doing a panorama so I'm gonna st stitch that together it was a 35 millimeter so it could be an interesting panorama it might work not sure how the composition will look, but it's worth a try. And that was tons easier with, uh, oh, hang on, with that thing. Tons easier with that thing. Uh, 
if you're thinking about getting a geared tripod head, don't delay. What a fantastic piece of equipment. So from sunny Cullen Beach, that is me done now. So thanks again for watching. Next time I see you, I'll probably be in the northeast coast, somewhere around Duncan's Bee Stacks. If you haven't seen them before, Google them now. They look incredible. I can't wait to go and see them. So thanks for watching. Ciao for now. Bye.